Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over how to program the Trident Control Dosing. Now, Neptune provides a task that will allow you to easily set this Trident Control Dosing up. However, I found it easier to manually do it, and I'm going to show you how to do so. So the first thing is you obviously must have a Trident and you must have a dose. And that's how it's able to uh, dose based on your Trident results. So let's get started. So here we are on my Apex system. You're going to see I have a Trident here. And I have my dose right here. So if I want to set up alkalinity, I go in here. And under this right here is where you have something called a control interval. Now you'll notice I have four intervals here. I have between 0 and 2, 2 and 10, 10 and 20, and 20 and 24, different amounts to dose based on the hours of the day. So in my first interval, if I go there, you will see that I am going to find that it's going to uh, adjust based on which test it is. So for alkalinity, I want to keep a value of 8.5 and I want to keep a range of 0.2, which means it's not going to go over 8.7 and it's not going to go under 8.3. The limit percentage here basically signifies that it will not over or under dose uh, more than 40% to get to that value. And if you exp it explains it a little bit better in detail here. It defines the degree of which the dose volume may be varied. For example, with a limit of 40%, which is what I use, a 100 milliliter dose can vary as little as 60 or as much as 140. So it takes 40% out of the dose that you place in this area down here. So that's how you make a control interval. If you go to modify the interval, that's where you can adjust the time and the amount. So for instance, I have a 40% of 10 milliliters between 0 and 2, which means it's going to dose between 6 milliliters and 14 milliliters between that time and between 2 and 10 it's going to dose between 40 percent of 25 up and down and then 60 and you can do this again for any um, any of the elements so if i go back to control interval i can change this to base off of calcium i can have it dose alkalinity based on calcium consumption if i wanted to but as you can see, I have a dose alkalinity based on the alkalinity consumption between the times with the intervals. Another nice feature that I added here is if you go to advance, I have this right here. So if for any reason the alkalinity does go above 8.6 in my tank, I want it to turn off the dose completely. And therefore, it's not going to go above 8.6. Now, I'm testing on my Trident every two hours, which I recommend for anyone that's doing um, Trident dosing that you're going to do between two and four hours. I wouldn't switch to six hours. I think that's a little too long. Another thing that I did was if my alkalinity runs low or the liquid in the dose container or the container I'm using for the dose, I also want the alkalinity to turn off. So that way, if I run out of alkalinity, it'll also shut it off and it will alert me. So that's basically how you do Trident Control Dosing. Um, this is how you do it the manual way. You can always go up to the tasks here if you want to have um, Neptune do it for you. I find it's easier to do, to do it manually by yourself um, because every system is different. Every hour is different that you're going to be testing. It really just depends on how you do it. So again, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Hope you had a great day, and uh, hope to see you all at the live streams.